We are here with our relationship coach and our life coach, Daphna Levy. Daphna, thank you so much for being here today. Good being here again. Yes, we love it. We look forward to it every week. So this week our topic is a little bit different, but still as important as everything else we talk about. So obviously in a relationship, there comes a time where a couple is either going to move in together or make, you know, couple decisions. What do you do if you're in a relationship with someone and you want to get a pet and the other person is just not quite ready? Good question. Well, it's just like any other disagreement in a relationship. You're two different people. You want you are going to want different things from life. One of you will want two children and the other one will want ten. <laughs> it's one of those decisions you have to make, or discussions you have to have. That's true. Now, sometimes there's a person that already has a pet in the relationship. What if your partner doesn't necessarily want that pet and you guys are supposed to move in together? If the, your partner is allergic, for example, or they well, don't want the pet in bed, mm -hmm. again, you'll have to work it out. Yeah. It, maybe the pet has to be outdoors. Okay. Or in, in a den. Right. But it, you, you have solution. to work it out. It's like saying that my mother is going to come live with us. It, well, it's a decision you have to make. Right, right. Well, and it's interesting that you mentioned like the bed conversation because I feel like that's newer kind of. I, I know for myself, my parents were always like, no, no dogs in the bed. I'm like, my dog is my baby. He sleeps with me. Like that is, it's a deal breaker. He's going to sleep with me. That's yes. just the way it is. So I feel like that's also kind of changing with times, you know, but like you said, if it's a medical reason, an allergy, well, you've, you're going to find something that works, you know? So when is it too soon to commit to getting a pet together? When you don't have full agreement on it, because if you're starting a relationship, there is so much to work out. There are so many differences that you have to uh, reconcile. Yeah. Then adding a pet to it. Yeah. You know. It, it can complicate the situation Absolutely. too, right? Because it's not just with any pet and adoptions. It's not just, okay, let me get this dog. He's super cute. Or this cat, he's super cute. It's, it's a responsibility. So now how are you going to split that responsibility within the relationship as well? Exactly. So what do you do if you want the pet and your partner doesn't or vice versa? Well, you know, it's just like you want your mother to live with you and your partner doesn't. Uh, you know, it's one of those w decisions. Now, what's important is don't start competing on who gets his way. Mm. Because in the end, if you got your way and your partner is unhappy, you didn't win. Right. Yeah. The decision uh, has to be such that makes both of you happy. Right. Oh, that is key. I feel like say it again, say it louder for the people in the back to hear because that's true. Like you could win, quote unquote, an argument, but are you winning or is it benefiting your relationship at all? Because if it's not, then what's the point? Exactly. Ugh. And having an unhappy partner, unhappy spouse, you're not doing your job. Yeah. Now, adding a pet to the mix could also complicate the relationship, right? Because, you know, messes, arguments, things kind of sprout up. What do you do with situations like that? Well, if you're the one who really wants the pet, the pet and your partner is compromising on it, then you should be responsible for the messes. That's true. I guess it's that simple, right? You want him, it's your responsibility. Daphna, where can people reach out to you to get more help and assistance? They can call my office, 661. 374-3790. Perfect. And you're located or, there at 4200 oh. Easton Drive, Suite 2, Bakersfield, California. Yes. And your website, right? Yes, marriageaid.com. Perfect. Thank you so much for being here today. We really do appreciate it. Thank you.